Hi guys, Gargush9 here with Let's Play Lunar Legend. In the last episode, we made quite a bit of distance into this final dungeon here, gone to the Goddess Tower of all places, and I sit in front of the store. And in this video, we will not be starting off with what I thought we were going to be starting off with. <laughs> okay, run. <sighs> Alright, so yeah, now we'll be getting in. Hopefully, this should be the end of, you know, the rest of the regular part of this dungeon. Like, yeah, I just prefer to fuse. Maybe I can stave off in a little bit. Oh. There it is right there. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, so go to that staircase and then let's see where we all go this way. I really do like the music in this place. It's a shame you only hear it once. Nope. Aww. Uh, it could, uh, it would be nice to get some items too. It doesn't look like there's an item for quite a few rooms or. I'm reading this wrong. Let's see, just checking. Yeah, this could, I guess this part is really linear, but it still does take a bit of time to traverse, mainly because of these damn battles. Alright, come on, let's go. Move, 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 move. Oh, there's one. The Spirit Guard. Whatever that is. <laughs> and uh, more random battles. Jeez. That's what, like, when you keep seeing, like, the same enemies over and over again, you kind of just get bored with it all. Ooh, triangles! Alright, let's go left, and then up, and then back around, and... Oh, look, treasure chest. Mental drop. Coolio! Alright, and then you go to that staircase right there. <laughs> so yeah, this part, like, after that little maze there, it is kind of easy to traverse. It just, you know, just takes time, I guess. Alright, continue on. See, these runes are just endless. <laughs> and luckily, there's the end right there. <laughs> it is kind of sad sometimes. It's like, you know, what's the point of making a big room like that? Uh, let's see. Go to the second one. Arrgh! Jeez, come on. Yeah, the first one, I believe, e goes to a dead end, or... Oh, shoot. Alright, second one here. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, the second one has another dead end, but it's a mental drop. And then the first big hole, that's where we uh, go forward. Kind of depressing, though. Two mental draws or something, or mental whatevers. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, come on. Alright, another room, and then... supposed to go forward. Ah! Jeez! I mean... I gotta stop complaining about it, because I could, I've been complaining about it almost every single damn video now. Alright. Now, let's, uh, let's see, uh, where is it? Alright, who needs it? Ah, I think I'm fine. I was thinking about using some mental gums, but I think we're good, because if I'm right, or the guide is right, yes it is! Zenobia! Yep, it's her. <laughs> ah, you've come. She doesn't sound too pleased to see us. Zenobia. Don't die, Zenobia. Though, and though Bile Tribe has taken orders from me, you'll lead them from now on. Don't forget that. Look, look at the, What's the random wind coming from? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm stupid. <laughs> I understand your words, but I don't mind. I've always lived for their sake. I'll get you for what you did to my father. You won't get away. Watch out. Ha, only Galleon can truly save the world. Why should I care about people who can't seem to understand that? He'll use his power to control every- uh, alone to control everything. To you think that's right? Someone has to lead this world. How can the world move in the right direction without a leader who's powerful? You're crazy if you think I'd let that any person take control. Get it? Well, we'd stop, uh, never stoop that low. That's right, people live by their own strength. Gee, what is this coming into? Like a, a Dragon Ball Z episode or something? Don't kid me. Athena has dissed the Vile Drive. Now Athena has died and the world's strength is ebbing away. What do people believe in? Uh, believe when they see how Luna is now? They don't believe what you say. Galleon is the only way. Galleon's way, that. Galleon is the only one who can save this world. Galleon! Zenobia, you... I won't let Galleon be stymied by you. You must die. Here and now. Oh, what's going on? Oh my god, two Jessicas. Here. 
What? Who are you? Or oh, what are you? I am you. You are me. Oh god, existential crap. <laughs> I'm just another you. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, it's Kyle now. You say you're the real me. Yes, it's you who th is thinking, we can't win this. I better give up. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Same face by me. I want to be surrounded by women, having a great time. That's all I want. Who cares about the fate of the world or the future? Hmm. So hurry on back for some food and fun. Forget all this troublesome stuff. Oh, me a turn now. I'm sick of fear of carrying responsibilities. I'm not confident enough for all that. Everyone expects me uh, so much from me. They say, you can do it. You must do it. Why? Who do they all think I am? Forget it. I'm just a weakling who can't do anything. That's not very nice. Oh, this ought to be good. Isn't it true? Isn't everyone being so foolish? The elite, the chosen few, have a duty to lead the people. And I've been chosen. Dot, dot, dot. Why are you so puzzled? I have Galleon support in this. The world will be controlled by a new god. All shall bow before me. What could be more fun than that? Well, who says it to you? Isn't it true? Who needs a father that doesn't want to know the real you? Who wants to push his selfish dream onto you? No one understands the real you, do they? There's no need for you to fight for people like that. Is there? Well, that's just me. Uh, seriously, this is just so mean. Oh, hey, it's Alex. Luna has rejected me. You're wrong. Yeah, you tell him. She hates me now. She wants Luna wants to be with Galleon. Wrong. Luna is not a human. She's the goddess Althena. She's not little Luna, my childhood friend. Wrong. Luna is Luna. Yeah, Alex really shows some balls now. That Luna is not my Luna. Oh great, he's repeating now. We've caught him in a paradox loop. <laughs> There's no reason to fight. Luna doesn't need me anymore. Hmm? Oh, change the music. Alex, everyone, don't fall for falsehood. Think back to what you've discovered during your travels. Then you'll understand our first step toward the future that I, the goddess Althena, and Dine have believed in. All will understand. So yeah, Althena is actually talking to us. How about that? Oh. The real me? I've never deceived myself. I've always liked being a tomboy and playing outdoors. In my house, I'm sweet and quiet. Both are the real me. I'm the daughter of a pirate and a normal woman. I've inherited my life from two people I love. In fact, I like myself very much these days. Oh, <laughs> Kyle. A life that's fun and funny, that's life for me. And I'm not kidding. It's no good when I'm the only one having any fun. Fun is for everyone, or it's not fun. <laughs> That's a goal I can handle. I'm different from you. You're just a fake. Yeah, Mia. Yes, I am weak. I've always led a wimpy life. Afraid, unable to do anything about it. But I realize there are even scarier things, such as someone who ignores his own weaknesses and just wants to hurt others. That's much scarier. I recognize my weaknesses. And that makes me work to overcome them. Ooh, that's a turn. Kind of want to see this one. It's not a question of one person being stronger than the, another, better or at magic or richer. Instead of who's better than who, the question should be of how can each of us, with our different strengths, help each other and encourage each other to realize wonderful possibilities. That's what I've learned during my travels. We all must move forward together. Hey, wait a minute, we haven't had Alex yet. So you've escaped my psycho maze, but Alex will live there forever. Not true, Alex will be back. Wait, when did Nal come? We never saw Nal! I want to see Nal's dark side. Alex, I saw everything. You've become strong, and your true strength is not your rise as a dragon master. It is the strength of your will to win, shining through any depth of darkness. Luna? Oh god, is that Luna now? What do you say? Luna's your enemy now, the one you must defeat to save the world. It's something you must do for the world as a Dragon Master. Am I wrong? I believe in you, Alex. Luna! Luna! Dramatic effect. <laughs> ah! 
Well, so much for that. <laughs> hey, what the? I won't run away. Not until I save Luna. What a waste. She's already lost her own free will. That's not it. Luna called for us. Oh, so that was Luna, not... Oh, I don't know. Maybe it is the same thing. Ah, oh, it's happening. But, uh, <laughs> welcome back, Kyle. <laughs> I'll send rescue Luna. I won't allow you to do this. Luna came to see us on her own. I will never forget that. Damn, Galliant, don't come in here. Over my dead body. And we finally get to face off the leader of the Vile Tribe, Zenobia. She has the highest amount of HP out of any boss in the entire game, if I'm reading this right. However, I believe that her defense is actually kind of lacking. So that kind of, it's like a, you know, this and that kind of thing. I'll be using the obvious setup that I've been using every single time up till now. But yeah, look at that. Nash just did 200 points of damage. We didn't do even... We did... I think we did like less than 100 against Royce. But yeah, now I can do Miss Veil instantly. <laughs> but yeah, Zenobia does have the highest HP, but that doesn't make her the most powerful boss in the game. Just... Just think. Don't worry about that. She does have a lot of, um... You know... Area attacks, I guess, is what I'll call them. Alright, Alex will get into his own thing. Nash, just keep throwing out those things. Uh, let's see. Let's use this on Jessica, because I want to try something. <laughs> so you can probably see what I'm doing right here. Yeah, I kind of want to do it, just because... Just the irony of it all. Alright, Thorbolt. Hopefully Mia goes before Jess. I think she does. Okay, she does. But yeah, Buck Up, I've never used this before, but yeah, it's basically just like Vigor and Heat Up. It boosts the attack of an ally. But now, Powered Up Crimson! Oh, the irony. In 780, woo, that did pretty good. Yeah, Kyle's doing quite a bit of damage too, that's also nice. Hold on, why did he dip below 100? Why is he dipping below 100? Huh. Alright, so that was turn two with Miss Bale. So I got one more turn before she starts hurting me. Alright, so yeah, I, I, nothing I can really talk about until she starts attacking me. <laughs> Alright, uh, Jess, I guess you can just build up your, um, gauge. And then I'll waste Kyle Shiner. Oh, uh, yeah, with, uh, with the buck up, Jess will be able to inflict just a bit more damage in, um, if Zenobia somehow survives until I get Crimson off again. Yeah, I can use it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I will go ahead and start doing Miss Veil. At least on Mia, because then she can keep Miss Veil and everyone else. I mean, usually the order I do it is, is like uh, Mia and then Jess. And then, um, usually the offensive people, because I kind of do it like with importance. Because, like, you need Mia to do defense, and then if she does, you know, her magic power, and then you need Jess for healing, and then the two fighters will probably be the next one. Alex and then Kyle, in my opinion. Wait, she's doing a new move. What was that? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> what was that? I don't even... Okay, uh, Zenobia does have one attack, though. Hopefully she'll use it, or, like... Oh, I hope not, because Miss bill has gone now, but, um... It does sap the HP from someone, and then, uh, um, replenishes her. Kind of like Absorb in Pokemon, or something like that. I wish I could be a little more flashy, but, like, you know... <laughs> there's only so much you can do. Yarg. Yeah, 50... Uh, high 50s. I wonder how, what Jess would do without Buck Up. Probably, like... Probably 40s or even 30s, high 30s, I don't know. I don't know how much it really boosts the attack power, but it definitely does it a little... Like, it definitely helps. Damn, 200. Kyle just did one attack like Nash did with a 15 MP spell. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, she's got a bit of a bite on her. Like, 60, high 60s damage to max. But, um... So yeah, she's almost as powerful, uh, powerful I guess, as the, uh, what's it? Guardian. But the Guardian can, like, uh, uh, top 80, so, like, yeah, Zenobia is still not the most powerful thing in the world, but she is, I guess she can be a bit of a bother. Damn, I'm really laying all the damage. I'm surprised she hasn't died yet. But yeah, she has, like, 8,500, um, HP points or whatever. Or HP, yeah. Well, uh, more than Royce, yeah, that's not much for sure. And I have to wonder, where the hell did the little bat wings come from? <laughs> I mean, they don't really explain that. Like, Royce had a snake, and now Zenobia has bat wings. I mean, I wonder what Fossia would have been like if we actually had to fight her. 
Yeah, she keeps doing Kamehameha. <laughs> That really is this like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> ah, I'm having too much fun with this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's go with Kyle. I don't think Jess really needs it for this battle, though. She seems to be suffering not that much damage, surprisingly. Like, yeah, some of you all notice I did Nash. Nash doesn't have a whole lot of defense to him, so. Yeah, so really it's kind of just what you want. It's like either importance of like what their role is or just their stats in general. Uh, yeah. To shore up all the people that kind of need it. <laughs> you know what? I probably should have done it at Alex after all, since Kyle has a bit more HP. So you can take a few more hits. Okay. Ah! I mean, I'm happy I beat her, but I was really hoping I could have killed him with Jessica. <laughs> the, the irony would have been delicious. Everyone's hitting level 41. No. Damn. Yeah, I mean, God. For, level a uh, video 43. I mean, uh, I'm so close. <laughs> I'm so close. And she draws a mental drop too. <laughs> oh, hilarious. I'm sorry, Galleon. And I'll, oh, she's hopelessly in love with Galleon. Well, she was. Even she is doing this to hang on to what she has. Let's save the touchy feely stuff until it's, this is over. Right. But yeah, now all the Vile Tribe witches are finally out of our hair, which means there's only one last person that we have left. <laughs> ah, I love this room too. Let's see, this. I don't want to trigger the final boss. Okay. Yeah, if you go in there, that triggers the final boss in the game. Yeah, we're already there. But, um. Uh. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and just cut off the video here and, you know, save the good stuff for later. So, this is Gary Christian and I with Let's Play Lunar Legend. We've defeated Zenobia, and then in the next episode, we'll finally get to take on the real Galleon. See you then, guys.